Hi guys, so this video will be talking about the split check and be focusing mainly on the footwork for the split check. So first things first when we teach the split check is to find out which foot will be the front foot. An easy cueing for that is to ask your athlete to tilt forward and to catch himself with the fastest leg. So just tilt forward and there you go. And for him it would be the left leg. Second point, once we figure it out which foot is his front foot, we're going to go into a, a drawing for the footwork. So I'm just going to draw a front line in front of his toes first, and then a second one behind the heels. Um, you should have your feet or underneath your hips or in an ideal squat stance. Now, because his front foot is the left, I'm going to ask him to bring the right foot in front of his left foot. And I'm going to draw the line uh, half of his foot. There you go. And there you go. Okay, step back. This will be his um, heel mark from his front of the foot. And I'm going to ask to do the same thing, but with the back foot. So it's going to be the left foot going behind the right foot. I'm going to draw the line behind the heel and come back. And that will be the toe mark of his back foot. Now I'm just going to ask him to walk into the position. And he should be in an ideal position. Points of performance is here. Weight is on the heel. His um, knee is over the heel and the shin is parallel. His chest is straight up, the knee is underneath the hip and the shoulders over the hip. So he's stacked over the bones and his back foot position is on the heel and not on the, um, on the toe and not on the heel. Now I'm just going to ask him to walk back and now he's going to try and jump into the position for three times and go. Come back. So we can see he's a little bit short on the front foot and a little bit long on the back foot. Those are things that you can correct along the way, but the main focus is to more or less hit the same position every single time. So one of the common mistakes that we can see in the split jerk is somebody jumping way too much into the position instead of sliding into it. Um, the reason why we want the athlete to slide into the position is first of all way faster. Uh, more efficient and way more stable for the athlete once he's underneath the barbell. So I'm going to ask Andre just to go into the jumping uh, movement and then into the correct movement, which would be the sliding movement, so you can see the difference. So just get into the uh, wrong position and jump into it and come back. And now let's do this, the correct one, slide and go and come back. So what we want for the athlete is to do the second, um, the second rep. So a good exercise that you can do with your athlete is, is to use one, a clip and you position it right in front of his foot, I would say five centimeters away, and I'm going to ask him to kick it out. So, and go. There you go, great. So another common mistake that we can see in the split jerk is an athlete short stepping the front foot. For example, like this. So you can see his whole weight is shifted forward, the knee is over the toe and his weight is on the toe. If he would have barbell over the head, just bring the, heads, the hand over the head, you can see the whole weight is pulling him forward and he would not be underneath the barbell and he would actually lose the barbell. No stability, no strength, no right positioning underneath the barbell and the barbell is not stacked over the bones, so over the body. So a way to correct that, I will ask him to step back with his back leg. His front leg stays where it is and I'm just going to ask him to, to, um, to uh, bring the front foot into the mark and go. Come back and Come back a little bit more, 
and go. And come back and reset. So like that you can see his mistake has been corrected and I can ask him to go back into a split jerk with the correct form.